All right, welcome to part 26 of Europe and Versailles 3 Death and Taxes with Joe. Hi. Yeah, cool. You want to look around the world? Yeah, sure. Let's have a oh, look. Let's have a look. Wow, Novgorod has must they, they must have expanded in the Arctic Circle and kind of stuff. They must. They must have. be colonizing. That must be the only way they're expanding. Right. China's that, still that be the only way. I, I think Yuan's going to beat them to be honest. I don't know. Didn't you Yuan's want... got cores now. They'll they'll have cores in all this land that's uh, above the song, because they they've been there for longer than fifty years. Remember? Yeah. All so, well, that would be cored now if they had, if it isn't wasn't taken off them. Nothing I can see Joseon. I can see Joseon doing something big. Um, Deacon right. still kicking everyone's ass in India. I've taken a look at just about everywhere, so might as well go. So we're going to focus on killing Poland and then doing something for you this time. Uh, probably we'd want to get a little bit more of Hungary. Hopefully we can annex them because it'd but be easier. My infamy is kind of shit. I don't care. Oh yeah, someone says we should share the emperorship. And you know what I said to that? What? I said never. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I found I thought that was the best way to uh, say it. It was mine. Oh shit, I put it straight up to two. I apologize. We are running on 5.2 now, not by choice. It just kind of happened because I have Steam. And I did the smart thing and put it on Gamersgate. So I choose when I upgrade it. Yeah. Or I just don't. <laughs> that was mainly the one I was going to do. Don't start it was mainly the way I was going to do it. But... Oh, weird. I'm invading what? Bavaria. Uh, okay. Right. It's been a oh, while. Wait, wait, war in Novgorod. I didn't, I didn't know that. Was this war over? Second war. Uh, Poland, I think it is. Aggression. It was my. Was it my aggression? Yeah. I lost two stability for this. What was past me thinking? I could have got a PU and then annexed them outright in fifty years. This must have been about what? Two weeks ago. So. No, just over a week, man. It was nowhere near two weeks because I can remember. Um, no, actually, no, it might have been. And I see, I don't know now because I've been playing Guild Wars too much, so my compl time is completely gone. Guild Wars <laughs> does that to you if you play it too much. You just you're lose track of time. You're completely out of it. I, I can't actually remember when we start last played, to be honest. I also want some land off of um, Lithuania because I haven't really, like, I've got two in for me. <laughs> That's not really much, is it? And someone wants us to share the emperorship, so I might as well get some in for me. <laughs> Give you a chance, man. Are we at war? Yeah, we're at war with Lithuania. I know, can't you tell? I've got so. three alt. Apologies, apologies, everyone. Nothing happened. He alt tabbed like an idiot. Never alt tab. Never. Unless you're British. What? Provoking good stereotypes. <laughs> What's that have to do with being British? I don't fucking know. Shut up. You're ruining my stereotype. Oh yeah, uh, there's a, like a 15k Novgorod army in um, Lithuania, and I'm actually kind of scared. Oh yeah, and it's just kind of chilling. It there kind of eclipses my little army that is next to. It's uh, just kind of go. looking at you. It's like, hey, you're gonna die. <laughs> don't oh, worry, gonna... army, you're not gonna die. Slider change. Oh sweet. Wait. Oh, I've got a good chance to diplo annex all of my vassals. Game, I hate you! <laughs> hmm. Why game? Oh yeah, and I've also figured out that I'm definitely never ever gonna annex a, um, Elector. Yeah. That shit is bad! Well, no, you mean, uh, Vassalize. Oh, I think Annex gives you a bit of bad ones as well, dude. I know Vassalizing does, because I saw someone Vassalize winning a Let's Play. That didn't go well for them. No. He just, he literally annexed and was like, well, I don't give a fuck. I was like... Yeah, you have fun with being shit at diplomacy, mate. <laughs> yeah. You lose a whole diplomacy skill. One whole point in it. And then you also gain point one five infamy, yeah. Indeed. That'd be really bad. Ooh, we gained a core in Friuli. I and that's one more pro province, and I've um, officially finished um, taking over what I want of um, Poland. We just need to get out of them. And it also means we'll actually share a border, dude. 
We will also share a border. How awesome is that? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get what? Uh, San uh, uh, The three provinces above Rufinia. Okay. I'm gonna go for all of them because it means saves us a war. It's like, it like saves time, if you know what I mean? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go try and I'm gonna try and siege the this pro this province in the north. Then after that, there'd probably be only two more wars. No, I'll I'm gonna Poland. try. P I'm gonna try PU next. Ah. Uh. Okay, they won't accept Poland won't accept anything, so we need to kick their army's ass, which means I'm gonna take both my arms and go straight to the south. See if uh, say Bavaria would take anything. You wanna you wanna see if I can get anything out of Bavaria for you? Well, I don't want any land. It's just money. Money. I can get a hundred out of them, yeah. and they will accept that now. Might as well. I could do. I also want to milk more from them. Now that's as much money as they've got. Well, let me see. Okay. They've I only am... got. 100. Yeah. Yeah, they've only got a hundred, dude. So we're just gonna milk that and take it. Sure. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's my share. There's your share. I got my forty. You get sixty. Oh, that's somehow fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's somehow fair. It is. Don't know how, but it just is. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining, to be honest. You're helping me in a war against a bunch of twats. Why would I complain? And it's still forty dollars for free for you. True. And it also saves me. Um, they won't. Poland are being little twats. They won't accept anything. We have to destroy their armies. You need to destroy their army in um, Moldova. So I'd move straight, move out of Brasavia and just go destroy the army. And then we can, then we can siege. Yep. Uh, or like detach a siege, Danny Brasavia. Okay. Yeah. And then go attack because if you just, if like detach it, we can kick their army's ass, and we can have fun. And they've also got a seven k army of Lorraine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lorraine's all that out. Oh, I'm not paying for my navy. Well, Ooh. I never pay for my navy. I've <laughs> Why would created I created a proper navy. I actually... Uh, I'm over my limit by nine ships. That's how badass I am. I went over by nine. <laughs> Is it because of that? Oh yeah, because of my naval race versus England. Yeah, game, yeah, that's fucking logical. <laughs> okay, it wants me to reclaim the Imperial throne. Well, you can piss off my throne. Can you cancel that mission? Yeah, in two years. In two years? Yep. Well, that's not too bad though, is it then, dude? End of the part, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Or, be like, halfway through the next part. Or, like, just a bit through the next part. Anyway, I think you, it is your turn if we... In, in all fairness. Then again, we can't lose the Emperorship between us. I think Bohemia needs to die, dude. Yeah. They I've also figured out what I should take. You know the four provinces to the north? Yes. If I take all them, now listen, you could take everything else and we can have like a normal, like straight border. Or I could take two of them and then you could take the others. But then you'd be poking into my land a bit too much for my, pro well, like, my liking. I, I would want you to take Breslau, Leignitz, and at least Radebor, then. Well, and then create like we'll the old yeah. Austria-Hungary. Yeah, fair enough. But you would get Silesia. Yeah, that that sounds fine to me. To be honest, I just want to like make a nice nice border. And also, also, someone said what we should take in France. Oh yeah. Basically, I should take like um, I think it was like I take them like I have to look up the comment in a minute. But it base they've actually basically split it for us. They've told us what would be split. Oh cool. And they've said this is what you should get give each other. Um, I I was like oh yeah that sounds pretty good. And I'm about to get 12 infamy, so as soon as we can finish this war, the better. They are, yeah, everything to the north of me is um, uh, Catholic. Well, south of me. <gasps> My diplomat died, you son of a bitch! Sorry, right, I need to pause that. Cause I'm, uh, we need to mourn his loss by hiring another one. <laughs> there we go. We mourned for like an hour, a second or so. Should we become the defender of the faith? Oh no, it's terrible. No, actually, it gives you it gives you morale boost, so yeah, it's but not then terrible. the Ottomans declare war on anyone, you. Dude, the Ottomans are our natural enemy anyway, because they're taking Greece, and you want Greece. They own quite a lot of provinces in Greece. Hopefully, they haven't moved the capital. Oh, damn it! The capital's Constantinople. I hate that event. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. That event is so annoying when it's theirs. Like, you're, not, you're playing against shit. Uh, dude, pause, pause, pause. Um, I'm getting butt raped in um, the north. Because <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, that's right. You fucking leave, you dickheads. Yeah, they left. Huh. I'm going to go kick their ass. Hopefully, Lithuania's army will get away before we hit them. Well, I'm going to win in Poland soon enough. Go on, I can well, send 14,000 men up to Lithuania. Yeah, that would be really nice. I was going to send 20,000 men, but I kind of got sidetracked with having to destroy, uh, po finish off Poland. So... Uh, there's only one more province I want, and my vassal's taking it for me. And then that's what I want to piece out of them, if I can. Well, I'm this is going to be castle. a pretty big war, dude. <laughs> this is probably our first decent-sized war, if you know what I mean. No, we've had some other big ones. Yeah, but this one's at, at Novgorod's actually fighting us. <laughs> that's true. Okay, so it's my first decent war, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Is that the first war I've started that's actually led to us having to try? Probably. And I think Scandinavia is going to get formed, dude. And I would actually love to help them. I don't think so. Sweden's only taken a couple of provinces. Um, dude, you don't need um the um, uh, Novgorod parts. Uh, do you need all they need? They, all they need now is um Norway. They don't if need Denmark. They they can annex Denmark out of it because they'll get cores there. But I'm pretty sure they don't need it to start. Oh wow. Because I'm pretty sure it's just you just need cores. Because that's pretty much all this game needs. It's like, if you have cores, you can do it. <laughs> if you don't, get in line. <laughs> now, get in line. We don't like you. Um, what we at with Poland? Oh wait, I can finish Poland's off. Awesome. You ready? Wait, wait. We'll watch the north of Poland. You watching? Right, we're centered on it. I couldn't take any money though. That's the only problem I got. Delicious. No, I just need to get rid of that province off of Poland now. <laughs> I just need to get Kr Krakow and it'll look nice. We have a border, dude. We now literally can get rid of all anything to do with Bohemia. Yep. Sorry, Bohemia. Bye-bye. I mean, no, we can't kill them yet, though. We haven't um, got reason to. That's the only thing I hate about them. Um, um... Oh, shit. Where the fuck are your army going? Damn it. Their army's going to go away. I need to go kill it. Yeah, all my all our vassals vassals are destroying Lithuania. Now, see, I think that's ruined my border a bit, but it, I like it. Yeah. I don't think I'll be taking anything from Lithuania though. I'm up to thirteen infamy, and we need to keep, secure the throne. So I can't really take anything else. Since when were we at war with um Savoy, uh, Saxony? Oh, Saxony. Looks like your vassals got taken care of. Oh, don't worry. We've already finished that war. Excellent. I got another another forty ducats. Well, thirty-eight, but that's not the point. I got money. That's good enough for me. Novgorod, stop going back to my provinces. I'm destroying mine. all their armies. I noticed. I already killed one twelve thousand army. I'm just trying to get to block the yeah, Colm. If I can go block Colm with two armies, we can win quicker. Novgorod's got an annoying army though. How much money has um, Lithuania got? Oh, Lithuania's got 140 and we can get it now if you want. Why don't you take like say Podlasi or something? Because I don't like oh, bad borders. You know, I could take some of Gatia. No, Lassi would look better. No, because it needs Katie as well. A Takari or whatever the promise is. Trakai. Because if you look at it, if it gets both of them, it'd look better. Oh, it rounds it itself out, though. Not too, not enough. At the moment, dude, I'm fine with what it's like. It's good enough for the moment. I've got enough vassals and shit, so... Oh yeah, shit, let's see, let's pause. I, I just want to see how much money we can get out of uh, Novgorod. 33. <laughs> yeah. So rich. Very then rich. Then again, for... they've probably spent all their money on fighting us. Or colonizing. Then again, colonizing does cost a lot of money. Yeah. A shit, actually, so... 
Oh, who's, we got, who's... We got 55,000 men in Polesia. Who does? We do. Like, all of our allies and shit. And... <laughs> That's like mass vassals as well. Yeah. I don't think... Oh, yeah, that two of them armies are mine. So, 30, about 25,000-ish about are mine. One of them's mine. Uh, it's 14,000. So, basically, it's just us. <laughs> A big coalition. We are, oh, dude, I've, I, I was thinking of our name. Because in this Let's Play I'm watching, there's like a really RPE one. They have like different co like names. One, I think one was the Coalition of Steel. Or the um, Alliance of Steel. And one was the Atlantic Coalition. And I was like, we need a name. <laughs> we need a name! <laughs> Otherwise, it's not official. No, we're just friends then. So, what could we be called? Um, and well, it has I, to, I could think of some really racist German name, but... Yeah, that's fine. If it's if it's not like really bad racism that someone will kill us over, it's all fair play, mate. Well then, if it's being historically accurate, you can use it. Hmm. Let's see. What are your? We're we're both we're both kingdoms, right? So. We can... Yeah. The dual monarchies. I said good name, not a shit one. Well, that's what they called Austria-Hungary. Yeah, but that was a literally dual monarchy. Good point. <laughs> We're a theoretical dual monarchy because we don't rule over each other. No, technically, yeah. They helped rule each other, if, if in like a sense. The German, something German coalition. It should, it should have coalition. Coalition means cool. Hmm. <sighs> Central German coalition. What? Wait. Like, Austro Brandenburgian coalition. Uh, or I think Central same. German sounds better because we're both. We've all our vassals, we're pretty much Central German. Brando Austrian Bund? Yeah, that'll do. Or, or should because it be Austro Brandenburgian. No, Bund. no, no, the other one sounds better. That one actually doesn't sound good. Brando Austrian Bund. Yeah, that one sounds a lot better. Not because I'm first. Little bit because I'm first. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Gotta have a bit of favoritism these days. Um, I'm gonna move up to the Teton soon, after we've um, probably finished Bohemia. Because I... Bohemia hasn't grown at all, apart from one province which they got lucky. Okay, Lithuania's totally fucked. We can't get peace with them? I can get peace. I could've got peace with them ages ago, dude. Money-wise. So, if I was to take all my provinces, I'd be put up to um, 25 infamy. Yeah, let's just get peace with... with uh... Brandenburg. Or no, oh, they've, Brandenburg they've lost all their money. Novgorod. They've lost all their money. Oh, look, well, we could release plots. Might as well. Yeah, might as well, might as well. I'm gonna get rid of all my cores because it's my cores. Oh, look, they can get rid of your cores as well. No, that's provinces. Joe, you're on the wrong tab. You dipshit. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Uh, so that's the Novgorod piece done. I'm gonna wait a day for the next piece. Oh yeah, I made sure I thoroughly screwed them over. Nice. They have no cores on Ukraine anymore. Oh wow. So... And Novgorod has no money. But we can release, make him release Finland. And that's all, that's all we can do really, if you want. If you can, I think, might as well. I think Finland sounds pretty good just to release that. So, we now have an ally, I now have an ally in the north called Finland. <laughs> Yay-ish. So they're quite small, but it'll do. They'll help me eventually. Well, with our protection, if we keep protecting them, I'm pretty sure they'll be a lot bigger soon, dude. Yeah. Uh, tech levels. Oh yeah, I'm on stability, aren't I? Because I kind of got raped in stability department. Because some that, uh, some reason. Uh, I, Burgundy like, is, is yeah. still my bitch, so. Burgundy is your union, isn't it? PU. Yep, still my bitch. And holds your PU as well, which once you've um, integrated, dude, just give it straight to me. I'll just I'll take the infamy. I really don't care anymore. <laughs> which is uh, I I would vassalize a um, elector, but it just it gets worse because you, that's on top of something else as well. I think so. Yeah. Vassalizing electors is just it, it's just straight out annexations easier, or one province or two. Yeah. You don't want to vassalize them. That's just like long term problems. <laughs> And I can also move my navy now because we're not at war anymore. Yep, I've got lovely new navy. 
A lovely 28 ship navy, dude. So I'm the naval power of us two, aren't I? How big, how big is your navy? 30 ships. 30? Well, 28. Well, 28. Oh, shit. Yeah, I only have a navy of five. But we already knew I was going to be the naval power. Well, not in the future. Well, no, because you have more naval provinces than me because of Italy. I'm going to be making, yeah, the, the Mediterranean and shit. Then we'll swap. Then you can have all, then you can be the naval. But with North Germany under my control, I'm pretty sure I'll be land. Yeah. And if I can the Emperor ship, definitely me. Ugh. My standing in the Empire is the same. Even with 13 infamy, they still love me. Yeah, I'm the runner up and I'm behind by like 40. Yeah, but you have 18 infamy, dude. Yeah. And your infamy is going to go any um, again because we're going to go to hunger soon. So it's not exactly the best. Way. We've still got a truce with Hungary. Have we? Yeah. How long? Oh. Uh, Two years. Yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to do? Salzburg's your vassal. Uh, we could finish oh, off yeah. Croatia. Okay. You could finish off Croatia and get a bit of a thicker border down south. Well, in your southern provinces. I. The key for me looking good is Hungary. It is, that is true, but uh, Croatia will help. Or we could try and take Treviso. Or I could say move south, um, go through Bosnia and get like Albania and shit. Or, or we could do the smart thing and take out the pape. Pope. <laughs> the pape. I like the pape. Pape. Someone said to me, why can't you convert the religion of the pope, papal states? I was like, you answered your own bloody question. Wait. Well, are you <laughs> kidding me? You answered, no, I'm being, uh, I'm being straight up with you, bro. He went... How do you, can't why can't you change the religion of the papal state? I was like, I just I sent back to you. You answered your own question. Oh, Think about that, it. That's <laughs> like that's like trying to convert, like the pope. Oh, just just wow, the fucking. That's pope. trying to convert the pope. Doesn't work like that, mate. Don't play you free. <laughs> the guy that thinks he's that thinks he's been ordained by God. Holy, good luck. Uh, I, I had to tell you that because I just found it fucking hilarious. Wow. But anyway, I think you should take Napoleon and Calabria. Oh, for fuck's Fibre. sake. I can either lose one stability or gain three infamy. Lose stability. Stability, you, dude, you can live on zero stability pretty easily compared to me. I could live on zero stability, I just don't like it. <laughs> oh god, dude, one of my armies got massacred. Down to 5,000 men. Da damn that attrition, man. Damn that attrition. Oh sweet, uh, Zealand, go to Holland. Holland's actually getting bigger. Holland now owns Holland again. Yay. France, you dick, you lost control. Yeah, France it's lost got... Zealand, Sorry. yeah. Dude, I might get a PU of Lithuania. That would be... Get a PU of Bulgaria. You can, dude. Get a PU of Bulgaria now. Royal marriage. Come on. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get one with Hamburg. <laughs> okay, do you want to do your claim to the throne fight first? Claim to the throne fight? Let, uh, yeah, because that's how you get a PU with them. You claim their throne, then you get a personal union. Of Bul Bulgaria? Yeah, because well, if we get Bulgaria, Ottomans can't f push any more north, securing that part of, of um thing, and securing um Wallachia for yourself as well. Very true. I'm thinking about this strategically, all right? I'm thinking in advance because I don't want to think too far backwards. We think enough in advance, we should win easily. That but keep a personal union with Bulgaria will give us a strong fighting force, and you can integrate them in 50 years, around about the time you'll need to integrate them. Yeah, 50 years. I'd, God, I hope. Or I'll you, that. you could get chance to get them before then, which will still be easy because you should get caught in all of it. Hence, the part of personal union. Uh, gain fine inflation. I'll lose 200 bucks. Bye bye, two hundred bucks. <laughs> you wouldn't need it. <laughs> um. So right. So if you think about this, have you claimed the throne? Uh, I can't for another three days or so. Uh, because I'm gonna try and claim the throne of Ham. Okay, Hamburg's just got a new succession. Doesn't matter. He integrated two years ago, but we they had a bad succession, but they don't anymore apparently. 
Um, who else? So, if you look at the distributed sessions, who else could we um, annoy? Well, I'm pause it real quick so I can uh, claim the throne of Bulgaria. Uh, how long we got till the end of the video, dude? Uh, hold on, just a moment. Them. Okay. Uh, Bulgaria looks delicious, doesn't it? Oh no. One more day. There we are. For, right. I, I think you should say thank you for that. Yeah, that was a good idea. Thanks. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of PU Let's Plays type play idea. Personal right. Union is the infamy free way to win. 3rd of June. So 3rd of June, we're going to go to war. Yep. Now, I'm going to bring 20,000 men. Might have pissed off all of my vassals. Um, PU shouldn't piss off your vassal. No, like how it, it lowers relations with people that you have a royal marriage with. Oh yeah, yeah, that would probably. I'm gonna. I'm putting on my uh, um, spare arms up to 10k, uh, 15,000 men. Okay, dude. Yep. Uh, just to make sure they're up to scratch. I don't know why you still got it paused. Oh, gotta pause. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Like gonna sit there with it paused. I was just kind of like looking at it, like okay. Yeah, I'm moving an army down to Transylvania to um, push from the north here. Well, apparently now my force limit's 80. Huh. Yeah, my yeah, dude, it's always been 80. Mine's 80 as well. well. I'm not the emperor. I know you you are, you have a naturally bigger manpower because of Hungary. Dude, Hungary has like 30,000 manpower, and you had 30 to begin with, and you've also got uh, parts of oh, other nations. On a moment. Okay, guys, kill these. I'm, having, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, I'm helping you with that, and then I'm gonna put mine in um, uh, Kalasar, Kalasar in um, Wallachia, <clears throat> so I can attack them um, from the north. So I don't know where you're gonna put your men though. And also, we're gonna have to fight the Ottomans soon, dude. Good thing for you is you can pretty much destroy them. The One inch. Yeah, I'm not really worried about the Ottomans. Who someone no, broke I'm their alliance about the with us. Who? Bo Bohemia. Um, no, I'll keep them away from us, dude. We don't want them. We don't want them because if we suddenly feel like if we suddenly get a random event, we're gonna have to like, spend two months waiting for the to do it. All right. If well, one of us gets to do a mission, we can do it straight away then. Bulgaria is allied. Wait. Oh shit. Who are they allied with? The Teutonic Order and Bohemia. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that really doesn't mean anything to me, dude. But okay, you right. just you'll have to deal with Bohemia. Okay, at least wait for me to make my troops then. Okay, all right. Uh, they'll be done soon. Then I'll just I'll quickly put all my armies on the border with him, and be like, "Hello, bye bye, you dead." Yeah, I'm I'm gonna destroy him. He's got no chance to beat me. As the emperor, I may I'll make sure he can't beat me. My new unit. Should, I'm pretty sure we'll be starting this next part, dude. To be honest. Uh, yeah, actually, I believe we will be. Um, I think you should start putting some men in, um, one man in, one man in Nit, uh, Skogopi. Skogopi, oh. Serbia's province below Nis. And, uh, uh, Alent, uh, oh, that one, that, that other province of Wallachia. I'm not good with names there, dude. I can tell. You say it, and I'll be able to say it. I can't uh, say it from reading it, though. Well, That's a problem We're looking at Nits and Skopje. Skopje. At least, See? I'm, I'm not really sure about the pronunciation of provinces like that, but it... it nice. It's Nice. Oh, no, that's not Nice. It's Nice. I don't know. I've watched I watched a Danish person play this game. It didn't help my pronunciation at all. Of course, because they're Danish. It just made me think he's an idiot. Mm. That's about the only thing it made me do. Um, so I'm, I'm ready for these wars. This is kind of an unrelated statistic, but... Apparently in Sweden, more people know English, like, as a percent of the population, than in Canada. That's... that's weird. Yeah. Canada's massive, as well. well the so. problem... problem with that is because Canada has all the French Canadians. <coughs> Twice! Yeah. Then again, I'm, I've got loads of French Canadian relatives. They're not actually French, but they're English, but they move there. Ooh. I have Why? to admit, Canada's a beautiful place. I love Canada. Why would they move to French Canada? They've moved to, um, Ontario. Uh, I, I can't disagree. Ontario is a really beautiful place. I would happily move there, to be honest. But I would never speak French, though. Yeah. I would never even attempt it. If it's someone said something to me in French, I'd be like, speak English. You know, the, the language <laughs> I know of you the, speak like, heroes? 
the language of the heroes, not the language of the like runaway people. I didn't think about that before I said it. And you know it's something I never knew. You know, what? people in England driving the left side of the road. Yeah. Apparently, the only people that drive on the left side of the road is people in England and then all their old colonies. Yep. Wow. That is probably the only we awkward thing about us. We're like, yep, we're doing it, and we're going to stick to it. Don't give a shit what the rest of you do. <laughs> and how you somewhat still stick to the imperial system. Um, We stick to miles more because every single one of our sign is miles. Exactly. So we, the, it costs too much money to replace them all. Yep. So we get taught both of them. Why do you we think get, Americans what? don't want to switch over to the metric system? Because they've already got con uh, too many miles, isn't it? Yeah. We, we've got, imagine your country, times 20. Times a lot more than 20, mate. We can fit in Canada's big sea. Yeah. Can't you remember the biggest sea in Canada? We can, in England can fit there. So, <laughs> pretty sure you're a lot bigger than us, mate. In all fairness. Yeah, and then replace all those damn signs, and it'll cost quite a bit of money. It'll cost. It'll now, cost if you figure out a way, high. if we make all those signs in America, then we're set. Mm. That'll help the economy. Anyway, uh, that's all we have for this part. We're gonna start the next war in Bulgaria, and oh. I suppose in Bohemia as well. Well, Hell, we might as well joy. take some shit in Bohemia. Why don't we? Um. Uh, imperialness. What do you mean? Uh, HRE destruction thing. As in, they'll it'll give us infamy. And my infamy goes slow enough as it is. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. Anyway, either way, that's it for part twenty-six. See you guys next time. <laughs>